Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions and let's begin. Of course, we do this by using our shortcuts of keyboards from our Windows or Mac. Right now I will show you the Microsoft and Windows versions, but you can search for Mac ones as well and they are pretty easy as well. First of all, the basics. Right now, as you can see from the tab, as you can see, I can scroll and use my arrow keys to go in between the tiles as you can see like this without using my mouse at all I will put my mouse away from the screen like this and then just go around using my arrow keys and of course if I want to write something in a cell I will press F2 and write let's say welcome again and when I'm done with it I will press enter and then I can go enter again to like actually go down or just keep using my arrow keys to go around and do whatever I want. Of course, if you want to go down too much and arrow keys feel like too redundant or too hard for you, you can always use the page down to go down like this or page up to go like this from like one screen worth of rows. So yes, it will be much easier to use it like this. Of course, whenever you want to find some something, Control F, as you can see, will always work and you will be able to get out of it using your escape key. Shift and spacebar will always select a full row and you can just like press enter to go around it and get out of it using your arrow keys. And of course, whenever you feel like you are on a beat and you can't use some of the features, you can always go Shift Alt to see what every button on the screen will now do. You can go F for file. As you can see, it directly went to the file actually. So I can select everything easily. And if I go Shift Alt again, I can go home using H. And whenever I do that, I will do different buttons for different examples. And that way I will be able to do whatever I want using these little command prompts. I can go I for insert and then do insert cells here, insert sheet here and do use escape again of course. Then I can go shift alt again to close this future. But other than that, doesn't matter how many times I do this, I can use it multiple times to see which future does what. For example, let's say that I want to go to formula page. I will use shift alt again, then shift alt again to see how do I go to formulas. It says the it's the button M. I will use M to go to formulas. And when I'm inside formulas, I can just go, of course, first find my cell like this I want to use and then go shift alt M for formulas. Then let's say insert function. Then it, I can just easily find my function like this from financial date and time and whatever I am searching. Like this, I can select my numbers here. And of course, when I'm done with it, I will be able to use it super easily. Always remember to use Shift Alt on your menu to make sure you can use everything to their fullest. Other than that, that was basically it. And I hope it helped you guys. In any other case, we hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.